closely followed this place for a long time and just pulling up and seeing it for the first time after you know years of pictures and videos it's like it's crazy You're taking the fucking piss, Alex. Oh, 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 shit. It's almost like now I have no choice but to believe in something. Somewhere deep in Gloucestershire, England, lies one of the oldest buildings in the UK. The name of this Grade 2 listed building is the Ancient Ram Inn, sitting peacefully in the town of Watton Under Edge. Over the years, this incredible location has attracted every single ghost hunting team you can think of. Built in the early 1100s, it has seen more history than most buildings to date. Back in the 1100s, it was originally built to house the masons and other builders employed to construct the neighbouring church in the village. It was later taken up and lived in by the vicar of the church in 1154. Its history is amazing. Built on a pagan burial ground and sitting upon two ley lines, this site has been home to some of the most horrific acts in UK history. Mummified cats sat upon Bibles have been hidden in the wall to warn off evil spirits. Floors have been dug up only to find the corpses and remains of children which bear the marks and wounds of sacrificial murder. Tales of witchcraft, daggers used for sacrifice hidden in the walls and the burning of a woman believed to be a witch all tie into this amazing history of the ancient Ram Inn. It's somewhere I've always wanted to visit and ghost hunt, and all ghost hunters who go there come away with some of the most amazing experiences they say they've ever felt, and a presence that feels truly unnerving and evil. I arrived later in the evening to meet up with UK Haunted, and together we'd spend the night in this amazing location and uncover its secrets. <laughs> Right, we are here. Oh my God, there it is. I've seen so many pictures of this place and now to be driving into it is insane. Yes. Oh, there's the guys. Oh, this is insane. This building looks so old. It's because it is. Right, let's get out of here. Let's go meet the lads. We're ready. Run into some trouble already. <laughs> yes. These guys. Back again. Yes, back at it again. What is the hair? I thought I'd make an effort this it's time. It's been to a um, hair. Oh. Ireland and had a I transplant. thought I'd make an effort. That's... Oh, it looks 100% real. Okay, do you like it? A bit like a chicken. Yeah, it's like Justin, uh, <laughs> Justin Bieber when he gets a bit older. Well, this is it. It's not going over it. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> and I believe... Is. You're staying in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's this broke back ram. <laughs> You're staying in there. I'm so, oh yes. yes, the ram. Look at it. Oh my god. I actually know a lot about this place. So which have I got? Which one have I got? We'll see what happens tonight, I think, and then we'll choose. Okay. Which, choose. which one do you want at the moment? Yeah. None of them. <laughs> I want my car. <laughs> I don't know, the bishop's room looks quite challenging. Um, then the witch's room, I don't know if I can manage that one, but we'll see. Wh whichever gets the less activity, I'll pick that one. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's either staying in there with a succubus. Oh, a succubus. Or in there with Nick. <laughs> in the camper van with Nick, so I don't know really. Well, you know it's, it's, it's a better option. double-edged sword really, isn't it? It's fine. <laughs> you know what a succubus is though, don't you? An incubus. Yes, it's my ex. <laughs> Demons that lure you in with sex, right? Basically, the way I look at it and the way I remember. The way the you look at it. Yeah, the way I look at it and the way I remember. <laughs> the way I remember. Because there's two different things. Okay. A succubus. Now you can see yeah, his wiggly light on. Like that, sucking. <laughs> incubus. <laughs> in. That's how I remember it. See, otherwise, it's, it's up in the air. That's how I remember it. Well, Definitely okay. staying in there and not with him. <laughs> After laughing and joking with the guys from UK Haunted, it was time to see our accommodation for tonight if the Ram Inn proved too evil. Oh yes. 
Oh, this is oh, <laughs> this is cozy. Where are you? Are you, are you all you guys staying? So that's the kitchen. All right. You're in now. <laughs> All right, lounge. kitchen, lounge, <laughs> oh, that's where it's lounge. the drive-in. All right, okay. Oh, satisfying. So what? what is the inspiration behind the hair? I have to ask. No, seriously, I thought I would, because <laughs> I, I felt last time I met you, Daz, it yeah. was, I didn't put in the effort. Oh, you look uh, fabulous. Everyone was saying how fabulous you looked. Cool, have you guys been inside yet? Is it as bad as what they say it is? Is it as legendary, would you say, as what everyone makes it, it out to be? It's a different place to, that you'd ever go to. This oh, place yeah. here, mm. we always say, when you go once, it's like it draws you back. You have to go back again yeah. and again yeah. and again. One's not enough. No. One, once yeah. is just not enough. We came here with the uh, the owner, Mr John Humphreys, was still alive. And we were the last team to investigate here when he was still in here before we moved to, I think he moved to a care home. And he sadly passed away about four years ago. Closely followed this place for a long time and just pulling up and seeing it for the first time after, you know, years of pictures and videos, it's like, it's crazy. Yeah. You wanted to come here, didn't you? You really badly. Like, this is the number one place I've wanted to come, no, so. Like, where do I go next? This was yeah, this was away. it. This is on the list. <laughs> yeah. Time for talking was over, however, yeah. and after seeing where we'd be staying the night comfortably, if we choose to, it was time to investigate the Ram Inn. All right, here we go. Welcome to the Ram Inn. Holy crap. Yeah, check it out. The mummified cat and the old book. I don't know if it's because I know like a lot about this place, but um, it's got an atmosphere regardless. Like really close. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. I don't know if it's because, like, you know, in my head I know like everything about it or you're so like infamous, but um, yeah, it definitely feels Damn, it's gonna be a challenge to sleep in. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. So these are the old jackets that belong to the original owner before he died. And uh, they're still here today. And uh, yeah, let's, let's move onward. Oh my God. <laughs> this is actually insane. You're just talking about the children? Yeah, the, the, where they found the, oh, there's the grave. So in here, this is where they found the the bones of right. sacrificed. Wow, that is insane. It makes you wonder, like, if there's anything else in the walls or underneath this place. Like, one day when they have to take this place down, what else will they find? John used to say stories of a pagan burial site. Yeah. Where this was built. Yeah. So the original site was a pagan burial site. Hmm. I mean, that's all it can you just think about recently they, they, they found that huge fossil, didn't they, in Rutland? Hmm. Yeah, a big sea creature. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that is just phenomenal. So, what you just said, Daz, is, is very, very feasible. Yeah, you know, there could be all sorts, anything. Anything. So, for the crow, he's uh, yeah. he's just hanging there, he's just chilling out. Chilling out. Uh, they've done like a good job of making this place like feel, um, it's it really is. It's crazy. Yeah. You think just how much history is in these walls. Like, it's baffling. I was instantly taken in by this place's amazing history and atmosphere. And as we moved further upstairs, we decided I'd seen enough. It was time to begin the hunt. All right, I'm going to lie on the witch's bed. Do you want to film me, Nick? Just like old times. Is it recording you? <laughs> <laughs> Save it. Right. Share it. Whoa, Whoa, yeah, that was good. Fuck, that's freezing. That's nice. At least there's no rat shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Are you happy with me being on your bed? Would you like me to leave? Are there any witches here? <laughs> Why do you talk like that? <laughs> no, because if there are, then they need to do something. Are you angry that they accused you of being a witch? If you'd like us to leave your room, maybe make a noise. I suppose if she's a succubus, she'd, she'd want me to stay in the bed. Absolutely. It's usually when you're asleep, they'll wake you up. 
don't think you really summon them. That, see, that, that, that's the shit that you can keep to yourself. <laughs> like, you don't need Forget to, about that, Dan. You don't need to you tell me ask. that. You don't tell me that in the morning. <laughs> I'm gonna show. I'm, I'm gonna show you what to do. Right. And then we'd like you to do it. Okay. So you basically knock three times. Right. Is anyone there? Right. Okay. Yep. This is how the bishops would have entered the room. That's how they used to. Uh... Yeah. Right. Okay. You ready to swap? All right. Oh. <laughs> so SWAT team. <laughs> um. Okay. Is there anyone there? Come in. I, okay. <laughs> oh shit, okay. Oh. Oh my god. Stuff. There's a lot of Egyptian stuff in here as well. Damn. So this is where the bishops used to stay. I know, but it's obviously somebody's written that. Was that? Someone's put that on the mirror? Can you see it? Help me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> they did that to scare us. Come on. I felt fine in the witch's room. I felt like the witch could take care of me. How do you feel in this room then? <laughs> <laughs> I feel in this room uh, again. I feel, I feel fine. No weird feelings yet. I get more of a iffy feeling downstairs than I do upstairs. It's weird. Okay, okay. Oh really? Like the lights going off, like really so, makes a difference here. Yeah, yeah. Oh for sure. Yeah. If there's anyone there that wishes to communicate, can you let us know you're there? Maybe try to move something, make a noise for us, just to let us know you're there. Yeah. I felt like something was moving over there. Over here? Oh, I thought I heard a voice, like a child's voice. Really, really faint. I don't know really? if you thought that, yeah. This was thought... that you? Were you just talking just now? Can you make a noise for us again? I felt like I heard something sort of over here behind the jackets and the heater yeah, wasn't on. You, did as well, Alex. you say you heard, heard a voice. Right, any spirits here can move the rocking chair, please. In your own time, any, any time, it's not a problem. Can you try to move the rocking chair for us, please? We tried similar experiments deep into the night with no success or activity. As the night moved on, we moved upstairs and something happened which would change the entire pace of not just this ghost hunting series, but the entire night as a whole. With little to no activity happening throughout the night, we decided to just let the night vision cameras roll in complete darkness. We were upstairs chatting and having a laugh. What happened next was completely authentic and captured from multiple angles. We're not. You are. I'm not. What do you mean, me? You said we're taking the, You're taking the piss. No. I said, you are. You're taking the fucking piss, Alex. No. I yeah. What? Oh, shit. What the fuck? Hello. 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 There were no through drafts, no wind in the building. The latch lifted on its own and the door was forced open slowly. Captured by two CCTV cameras and our own equipment, you can physically hear the latch lift, 
before the door is opened. Oh, uh, yeah. What? Oh, shit. What the fuck? Fuck that, fuck that, fuck that, fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. You are. Thanks. You're taking the fucking piss, Alex. No, I, uh, yeah. When I tell you that the latch, I've heard the latch move and the door, and when I pushed it, there was some resistance. That's why I pushed it and I pushed it again and I fucking ran. I just ran. And I, I you heard you heard the fucking latch. Yeah. And I put I just fucking pushed it close. I just pushed it close. Yeah. Look at the latch how much has to go up. And you heard it and then it, it pushed and there is no there is no breeze, nothing. So shut the door. Right, so do the latch, does the door open? No. Now if you just if you do that and you just move it, the so it does that. But the latch has yeah. to come up. And, and I did push. that and I locked I'm pretty sure I got it on camera, but I locked it. You heard the latch lift, and that's the only way that this door can physically be opened. During the incident, I had a GoPro set up at the bottom of the stairs, not only proving that no one came up or down the stairs, but if you listen, you can hear in the most clearest audio we have of the latch being pressed down. Wow. That was just unbelievable. We're gonna go for a cup of tea. You can stay in this room on your own then. Nick, Nick can do a vigil near later. I'm genuinely like never seen anything like that in my life. But you know, because you're the one that locked I, it. So I you know, I I locked yeah. it and it was fully closed and literally you heard. Yeah. Yeah, but and it fucking opened. Yeah, and when when I pushed it, it We heard the noise like, of that, it opening. Yeah, we heard it go. Yeah, right. And then it, it literally right opened. After this amazing incident, we decided to try and record to see if we could hear any ghosts' voices. You're calling out to the spirits in the ancient ramen. Did we hear your voice a minute ago? Are you downstairs? There. Yeah, do that again. Hey, that was like it. Yeah. yeah there. Are you downstairs? Do you hear it? Did we hear your voice a minute ago? Yeah. Oh says, my oh, god. Oh. It says yes. Doesn't it? Yes. See, first time I listened to that, didn't I? I just said it, didn't I? Yeah. I thought I heard yeah. it say yeah. Wow. What Fantastic, thank you. That's insane. What was the question you, you gave again? Was that your voice you heard? Yeah. Right, okay, wow. so now, do we stay upstairs or do we go downstairs? Can we ask where did you want us to go? Yeah, maybe if ask to where to go next or... Yeah. So, we're just looking back at all the footage and we realised that the sound recorder is cracked and it's just been, it's been in your pocket, it's just been in my, Yeah, my gillet pocket there, there's just my gloves in there. And it is, for some reason, it's cracked. I don't know. I've got another it's been recorder knocked. in there, which is fine. Hmm. Someone locked the door. Interesting. It's weird, isn't it? After the evening was becoming so active, we did a number of different rituals involving Ouija boards. But we captured nothing. We thought it was time to send me in on my own, armed with a GoPro and a camera and see what we would capture when someone was by themselves in the dark. All right, I'm heading upstairs. Really don't want to do this. I can I cannot tell you how much I don't want to do this. I always say to myself in horror games, who the fuck was doing? Why would you put yourself in that situation? And here I am. Got a dildo strapped to my chest. 
All right, I'm going upstairs. And then I'm coming back down. Fuck's sake. Oh, God. All right. I ain't fucking around. I'm not fucking around. <sighs> Hello? You can literally see the light through the floor. I'm upstairs. Uh, I'm in the witch's room, which is uh, witchy. And there is uh, the door that fuck that. Nah, I'm out. I'm out. Bye. And there is uh, the door that fuck that. Nah, I'm out. As I was walking around and recording in the witch's room, you hear a very loud tap. In the reverse footage from the GoPro, we can see that something was actually thrown at me. As you can see. And there is uh, the door that fuck that. No, I'm out. I'm out. As you can see. And there is... A small item or stone seemed to be thrown and then the loud bang after, prompting me to leave the ram in for the rest of the night. Did you hear that? I'm out, I'm going home. Hello. Oh, fuck. Ooh. I caught that as well. What the bang? What happened? It was just boom, bang. What was it? In the room I was in, in the witch's room. Never again. I'm out. Me and my dildo are going in here. He's running off. Fuck that, no. <laughs> It had been an unforgettable night at the ancient Ram Inn, with an incident that really changed my perspective on if there really is an afterlife. I had to sit down after my journey and weigh in my thoughts. So that um, that concludes our hunt at the ancient Ram Inn, and I'm never going to forget it. And here's the here's the reason why. First of all, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of this place. I've loved the history of this place ever since I found it uh, around 10 years ago. And we spent most of the night, as you, you've seen, with nothing really happening, not much to really go on. The situation with the door, as of right now recording this, I've not seen the CCTV footage. I've looked over the GoPro footage, and there is nothing the other side of the door. Now, when you watch this video, um, it's very, very easy, and I understand why you would say that was fake. I started doing this because I was tired of um, all these people faking stuff and clickbaiting. For me, I, this is just a fun um, concept. You've seen us. We always have a laugh. We always have fun. But last night got very real for me. Now, I know that I felt like someone was pushing the other side of the door. Only I can feel that. And when we get all the footage and hopefully the CCTV footage together of the door being unlatched, unbolted and pushed open, yeah, people can still say that that's been somehow magically faked. But for me personally, I've, I've never believed in ghosts. I've never wanted to believe in ghosts. I just think the whole thing is um, silly and it... Uh, goes against science. So I've always been challenging my beliefs with this and now I've been going over and over it in my head. Um, there is no physical, scientific explanation for how that door, like something out of a movie, was unbolted and pushed open. And then with the voice recording, hearing someone say yes, I was there in the room recording, no one whispered yes, and it's on the recording, clear as day. And with everything else, the, the door being the main one, it's almost like now I have no choice but to believe in something. Like, how else do you explain that happening? How does a door like that get unlocked on its own and opened on its own? The ancient Ram Inn may very well have changed my beliefs, whether it be ghosts, different dimensions, whatever the this is, this it is um it is a force. There is something. I've come away <laughs> and I don't I don't want to admit it, but 
there must be something in the ancient Ram Inn. And whatever it is, it's not human.